I'm still in joke, but my attitude is a whole lot better, so thank you. So while we're in Job, it's the second day, or on another day. On another day, the angels came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan came too. Then God asked Satan, what are you doing? And Satan says the same BS line he always says. From roaming through the earth and going back and forth in it. Pause. So, when he... When Satan, I was about to call him Hayden because Satan be hating. When Hayden ass Satan gets bored, he be like, hmm, I'm gonna go to Earth. Hmm, let me just go to Earth and rummage through and fuck some shit up. I'm just gonna knock this over. I'm just gonna touch this. I'm just gonna just destroy some stuff real quick. I just wanna let y'all know that we're on Earth. And that Satan is still coming around here touching stuff. And then the Lord says to Satan, Have you not considered my servant Job? There is no one on earth like him. He is blameless and upright. A man who fears God and shuns evil. And he still maintains his integrity Though you incited me against him to ruin him without any reason. So the Lord said to Satan. You remember Joe? You were just at his house last week. Remember all that you did? He's still praising my name. Because that's my servant. You can't break him. I keep trying to tell you, Satan. You ain't a triple OG OG triple. Because you can't get Joe. Like, you can get these other ones, these little baby OGs, these new OGs, but not an OG triple. That's what God said. He said, try them again. And then Satan says, skin for skin. A man will give all he has for his own life. But stretch out your hands and strike his flesh and bones, and he will surely curse you to your face. So while I'm reading this, I'm getting the energy that Satan is just, he probably fine as, that's my brother, so he ain't fine, he ain't that cute, you know, but to y'all, who's not a child of God, Satan probably fine as shit, and he probably got hella swag, he probably like tall, dark, and handsome, he like, he definitely chocolate, he probably got like waves, and he got like pretty eyes, probably green eyes, or like really hazel eyes to go with his chocolate skin, he dressed nice, he got smooth skin, and he like, skin for skin and man will give his all for his own life you know like he talks like he run a game like i swear you can tell saying smooth you know like so he said stretch out your hand and strike his flesh and bones and he will surely curse you to your face so the lord said to say very well then his, uh, what he said, he is in your hands, but spare his life. Do what you got to do, Satan, but do not kill my child. So, all right, cool. Seems like I'm not going to kill your child. So Satan went out from the presence of the Lord and afflicted Job with painful sores from the soles of his feet to the top of his head. The Lord afflicted Job with painful sores from the soles of his feet to the top of his head. I was thinking as I was reading so slow. So, um, the Lord afflicted Job with painful sores. So, he didn't even let Satan do it. He said, don't worry about it. I'm going to do it myself. So, that reminded me of my personal story. Um. I have digestive issues and it's really, really painful, extremely painful. Sometimes I just want to shoot myself, it hurts so bad. Um, it, it, it hurts. Um, and it hurts. <laughs> so the Lord went, so Satan went out from the presence of the Lord and afflicted Job with painful sores 
from the soles of his feet to the top of his head. Then Job took a piece of broken pottery and scraped himself with it as he sat among the ashes. So, Job got these painful soul, sores on his soles of his feet and all over his body. And you know what he did? He got a piece of scrap. Pottery was just like, let me get these damn sores off of me. Same thing I did. Once I realized that I was having these digestive issues, I went to all kind of doctors. I went to all kind of specialists. I am reading all kind of books. I'm changing my diet. I am doing everything that I can because this pain hurts so bad. But I was just like, God, can you lead me in the right direction? What do you need me to do? Like, I understand. This is before I read Job. I understand that you're trying to tell me something. God is, he's telling me, don't eat this food. Stop putting this stuff in your body. So I'm not eating these food. I'm not putting this stuff in my body. However, I don't have the right options where can i find the right options so it's a journey it's more than just hey eat healthy El healthy material and healthy products aren't always accessible especially in an urban area especially when you lose your job or your own food stamps or i had food stamps and i tried to get organic tea and this organic tea worked very well for my condition and I cannot get it. I have to get the off-brand tea with food stamps. Now, luckily, I got a couple coins so I can buy the real one. But I'm going to tell y'all about that in my journey to get food stamps in another video. But my point is that health products aren't accessible to everyone. Food stamps? No. Health options? No. I try to get aloe juice with food stamps? No, you can't. But aloe juice is really good for helping my condition. So I pay out the, I paid out the pocket for it when I was on food stamps. So Job took a piece of broken pottery and scraped himself with it as he sat among the ashes. His wife said to him, "Are you still holding on to your integrity?" Boy, if you don't curse God and die, because you know that was her voice, because are you still being loyal to God after he gave you these swords? I would have been laughing him. That's what she sounded like, one of them hating ass friends that you got to stop talking to. He replied, you talking like a foolish woman. He said, you talking like a foolish woman. Shall we accept good from God? And not trouble so again while I'm going through my digestive issue it hurts like no other again I don't want to kill myself but I understand the desires to want to die especially with having digestive issues is extremely painful I want to say I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy but I understand how bad that hurt and some of these people might need to feel that type of pain. So I wish it only on my worst enemy. If I don't really fuck with you like that, cause you, you know, I wouldn't do that. Them DMV bitches, I wouldn't wish it on them. Even though I don't like them, I would only wish it on like my family. Like I want them to feel this type of pain cause that type of pain hurt. Sometimes it feels like preterm labor ladies. You know, the first steps of Braxton Hicks where you're like, oh, this hurts. Oh, this hurt really bad. Oh, I need to go to the hospital. And the hospital say, you're not in labor. You like, uh-uh, because this hurts. There's no way you're telling me this is not labor. I'm going through labor right fucking now. You need to get this duck gam, baby. That's how it feels. But there's nothing they can do. So I have to figure it out on my own. God, what do you want me to do? But I can't keep feeling this pain. Whatever you need me to do to make this pain stop, I will do it. I will eat it. I won't eat it. I will stop watching it. I will get away from it. Whatever it is, I just cannot feel this pain. That's when you start bargaining with God, but that's another video for another day. And all of this, Job did not sin in what he said, and all of that. So then the story goes on to say that Job's three home man is B. Job's three homeboys came to visit him, and they was they saw how sick he was. They didn't even speak to him. They just stripped off their robes and just laid next to him, like basically cuddling him. 
they sprinkled dust on on their heads and they sat on the ground with him for seven days and seven nights and no one said a word to him because they saw how great his suffering was there's nothing they can do and they know that but we're gonna sit here and we're gonna be by your side while you go through this Joel. because we know you and we know that you god don't play about you so i don't know what's going on right now but we're gonna stay by your side we got your back Joel, and they stay by his side for seven days and seven nights that sounds like they fasted too there might be a part in there where they play you know their version of monopoly or you know had a good time and kiki for a little bit but sound like that they was on their stuff so job chapter two we learned that god is still gonna throw you out there so sometimes what what seems like is a curse or some effed up stuff you know it's not really that sometimes God is just trying to show people how strong you are let me show you your strength that's what I feel like God is doing to me he's showing whoever he wants to see whoever's watching me 11 11 my strength so tune in for the next chapter of Job chapter 3 thank you so much and I'm trying to make sure that was it but yeah, that's it. I love you. Goodbye.